Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. Welcome back to the Stevie Unisex Crossbody Bag video series. To make the Stevie bag, you will need to purchase the pattern from my website. The link can be found in the description box below this tutorial. In this video, we are going to add the stabilizer to the front and back pieces, make the handle and the top zipper casing. To complete steps 1 to 63 in the sewing instructions, Check out the previous videos in this series. When you are ready, you're going to take one of your um, main stabilizer pieces, flip the front panel so you have the wrong side up, and you're going to center the stabilizer on top. Then you're going to take your front lining piece and with right side facing up, so the wrong side is facing the stabilizer, you're going to place it on top. So basically, we are sandwiching the stabilizer between the external and lining fabrics. You need to line up all the midpoints along all four sides and then we're going to clip it all around. And now we're going to baste the panel around all sides uh, about, I would say, five to seven millimeters. This way the stabilizer won't shift as much. And then you're going to repeat the steps for the back panel. So grab your external back, place it right side down, then center the stabilizer on top. You're going to place the back lining piece with right side facing up. And then again, line up all sides and clip everything together. Here we go. And again, we're going to baste everything around. Take both of your handles and on the wrong side of the fabric, draw a line in the center and then apply double-sided tape along each side uh, in case if you cannot press your fabric. Then you're going to take both pieces and with right sides together, line them up, line up the short edges and clip them in place. And then you're going to line up the other short edges and and clip those ones as well. We're going to sew both seams using one centimeter seam allowance. Now you can trim the seam allowance slightly, maybe like by half. Then you're going to open the seam and if you want, you can press it flat. I'm just going to use my fingers to do that. Then we're going to remove the plastic cover. We're going to bring those long edges towards the line in the middle. Fold it in half, line up those seams so we can find the midpoints. Then you're going to bring those midpoints together, line them up and clip that in place. You're going to line up those folded edges and clip the handle on both sides. We're going to take this to the machine now and we're going to stitch inside where the accent fabric is. So we're going to stitch around all sides. Once you have that handle prepared, you're going to take your external back zipper casing 
and we're going to place the handle, the end where we haven't stitched, inside those handle placement markings. So you're going to line up the handle inside that box on one side. You can stitch that in place around all sides. Then if you want, you can just make little stitching lines inside or install a rivet. And then you're going to bring the other end, line it up inside the other box. And then again, repeat, stitch around all sides, stitch crossing lines or install a rivet inside. So your handle once stitched will look something like that. Okay, I have my handle attached, as you can see. Now you're going to take your remaining number five zipper and with right side facing down, we're going to place it on top. So make sure you know which side is the side where it says zipper seam, because that's where we're going to place the zipper. The zipper seam is the, the front of our bag. So make sure you position the zipper in the way that you want it to be open. So again, I want my zipper to open from left to right. So this is how I'm going to position it. So flip the zipper, then you can line it up and clip it in place. I already trimmed my zipper, so it's the same size as the zipper casing. And I also removed the teeth from the seam allowance. So in case if this is something you have to do, make sure you do it before you attach the zipper. So now, once we have that clipped, we're going to baste the zipper about two millimeters from the edge. Once you've got that basted, you're going to take your lining back zipper casing and with right side facing down you're going to place it on top line it up and clip it to the zipper then we're going to sew the seam using seven millimeter seam allowance once you've got that stitch you're going to open the panels you can press that seam flat then you're going to take your stabilizer piece line it up center it and then bring both panels wrong sides together we're going to clip it all around here we go just like that then we can top stitch the seam along the zipper and base the remaining sides Okay, I've got that basted. Now you're going to take your front zipper casing and again with right side facing down, you're going to position the facing, the external facing on top of the zipper, line it up and then clip it in place. Okay, we're going to baste it to the zipper about two millimeters from the edge. Now you're going to take your lining piece and again you're going to with right side facing the towards the zipper line it up and then clip it in place. So again you're going to sew the seam using 7 mm seam allowance.
flip the panels away from the zipper. Then you can place the stabilizer on top, center it. Bring the lining on top, so you sandwich the stabilizer between the pieces. Line up the edges and then clip them in place. Again, you're going to stitch along the zipper and then baste the remaining sides. That is all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video if you are ready to complete the Stevie bag. Stay crafty, friends. Bye.